vlog guys, I gotta go to school, so let's do that fast thing and re transition into the next part of the day. So without further ado, welcome to today's vlog. Let's get started. Okay, we're home and this is crazy. So as you guys know, I missed a week also too. She's so excited for me being home. It's the cutest and purest thing I've ever seen in my life. As you guys know, I missed a week of school and making up this, this homework and stuff is and it's annoying. Like the amount of work that I have to do is crazy. So here's the breakdown of all my homework and this this is gonna get nasty. Spanish, I have to make sure that I get this studied and over with just for the, for the test that I missed. You got history as where I have to do a study guide and also study for a test that I missed last week as well. And the test is actually two chapters combined into one. As for English, I have to study my vocab words and read a chapter in this to do a t quiz tomorrow about, as well as do another quiz over the vocab words, and then catch up to where we're at, which is like 50 pages into the book. For pre-cal, I have to do a bunch of stuff involving homework, but really we didn't learn much today, so thank God for that. And for physics, well, that class is just a freaking mess. But guys, I want to give you guys some tips and use this for you guys so I can help you people out. So if you guys ever miss a long period of time of school, you need to grasp two things, just two, just only two. Once you get it done, it's really not that much and it'll be in the past, like it never even happened. And also, it's really not that important. The work and the education that you get at school, the stuff that you learn and get tested over is really not that important and never useful to your life. For me, I want to be a YouTube filmmaker, entrepreneur kind of guy, you know what I mean? And most importantly, I don't want to identify as that. I just want to live life and do what I love and inspire other people to do the same. And with that, basically I don't need to know really the majority of the classes that I'm taking because if you try to take a class, like it's really dumb on me recently, like a lot of people live lives that other people want them to live and it's so stupid, like never, if, 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 you, if somebody wants you to do something, never ever waste a second of your time even considering it. If you don't like it, you're not gonna do it. Do what you love as long as it brings goodness into the world. That's why that's always been my motto because that is just, it's such an accurate statement, like it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what people want you to do, it's what you want to do and what you love to do. That's all that matters. Always, always keep that in mind. On a different topic, tomorrow is Apple's keynote to announce the next iPhone. And I want to talk about this because I'm a huge geek. And I'm also a huge sucker for Apple, so let's get into it. Now guys, first things first, I have had iOS 11 for quite some time, so that's not really my main focus about this keynote. And first of all, I'm kind of jealous of you right now because by the time you're watching this, the keynote's already happened, so you already know all the information. So obviously, it'll probably be the iPhone X, I believe. I heard a lot of rumors about it, and basically, if you go, if you guys go on Twitter, there's like, oh shoot, there might be a iPhone X 8 and 8. Okay, never mind. Scratch all that. It's the next day, and I figured since I'm uploading this video at the same day as the keynote, it's already been announced. So why not talk about it? So first things first is the new, like, what is it, like the the Apple TV thing or whatever. I don't really pay attention to that, so that's beyond me. If you guys are Apple TV fans, let me know. But the first main focus is iOS 11, and iOS 11 obviously offers a lot of features. I love it. It's great. It's amazing. I'm a big fan of it. Now, as for the iPhones, the major event that anybody and everybody was basically there for. It's just so, I, I love how Apple's logic is like, we're gonna make an iPhone that is like a seven, but it's not a seven. You're gonna be able to break both sides of the screen. Like it's actually both sided glass. And that's such a dumb idea. And I get it, it looks sleek, but once a kid drops it, you're kind of you're, you're kind of screwed. So with the iPhone 8, there's like three colors, I believe there's like a new gold. There's a new gold and then you got the basic silver and then you got the space gray. First of all, props to Apple for getting rid of the jet black. Worst idea I've ever seen. But these actually look pretty sleek and the new default wallpapers, they look, hmm. Good job. Now as for the iPhone 10, the main event. First of all, you skip nine. Now first of all, the giant screen is actually kind of cool. I, I, I'm kind of digging it. I'm not, I, I used to think that maybe it'd be kind of dumb, but I actually, I like it. It's pretty clean. It allows for a lot more things to do on it. And obviously there is, I believe it's, it's literally a 5.8 inch screen. That's crazy, dude. So with a 5.8 inch screen, you're going to have a lot more room for stuff. And the augmented re reality thing that I was watching as the keynote was going looks so freaking cool. I think most of the focus too is going to be the facial recognition obviously there's no touch ID anymore you literally just have to use your face which is kind of creepy because snapchat freaked me out when they first released stuff like that because God knows where your face is going after you take that snapchat I know I know somewhere bro it goes somewhere sketchy but hey remember when we were freaked out about fingerprints now we're we, now we've upgraded to visualizations of our faces so we're getting really nice here and this is actually kind of low-key a good way to catch criminals now as for the charging the, the wireless charging is so cool I'm hyped about that that looks so awesome I don't know guys if I will be getting this iPhone because it's super expensive and I'm just not I'm satisfied with this thing right now so I have an iPhone 7 plus so I'm like one year behind I guess with this now but it's like 
I'm happy. I have a phone at least, you know what I mean? So I want you guys to know too that these are my opinions. So if you guys don't agree with them, comment down below because I want to know what you guys are thinking about this new bunch of Apple stuff that they're releasing. It's just, it's crazy, man. But guys, I apologize if you guys are not interested in Apple video topic kind of things. If you are, I hope this video was fulfilling to you because I don't like to take episodes out to talk about something exact, but like this time it was a must because I'm an Apple fanboy, I'm not going to lie. But guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode and video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos every other day. And thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love all you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Share this video with three friends. This has been Safe Infection, aka Isaac. God bless every single one of you guys. Peace out.